Hey, hey, Mzansi crew. Now, it is really sad that when two people that are in a relationship or a marriage are busy fighting and cheating on each other, they hardly think on what effect it will have on the children. Now, the former finance minister and youth lead leader Malusi Gaba's wife, Norma Mgoma, has opened up about her arrest in July for the first time, stating how her separation with her estranged husband, Malusi Gaba, affected her nine and seven-year-old sons, even though their separation is still up in the air currently hello and welcome to entertainment news in zansi now if you're new to the channel you know you love the stories go ahead click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update norma detailed how her children witnessed her arrest resulting in them struggling to focus at school after she was accused of plotting to kill their father malusi gigaba she also described her arrest when her members of the Hawks seized her electronic gadgets. Ngoma, who is 40 years old, said her two sons were present and witnessed their arrest, which took place last month at her marital home. Both her children were now struggling to concentrate in school. On 31 July, Ngoma made headlines when she was taken into custody after allegations that there had been a plot to kill Gigaba. However, she did distance herself from any involvement in such a plot, saying these were fake criminal charges. She was held for more than 24 hours at Brooklyn Police Station in Pretoria, but said in her statement that this had affected her sons more than it affected her. Malusi Gigawa claims hitmen were hired to kill him. My two minor children were present at the house at the time of the arrest. The discussion with the Hawks took place in their presence, which was obviously traumatic for them and very insensitive on the part of the police officers. My children were struggling at school, with teachers calling to notify me that they are upset as a result of the conflict at home, Norma said. Norma stated the charges laid against her by Gigaba had no foundation and no more than an attempt to tarnish her name and admitted to being responsible for the wrecking of the G-Wagon. As a result of her emotions, which caused her to take a vegetable slicer and damage the vehicle belonging to Siaya Peterson. She also did say that her anger was fueled when the deputy state security manager, whom revealed that Malusi was a close friend with Peter Siaya, and he was present in all of Malusi's infidelity cases, which resulted in her actions. Now, Mzansi, it's quite really sad what is happening to the kids because now they have to deal with the what's left over affecting their school, affecting their daily lives because now her parent, their parents are fighting all the time and they are in a separation. Now, Mzansi, you know I love to chat to you on the comment section below, so do leave your comment. And for now, I will bring you the tea hot just the way you like it.